get the Saints on the board. My role is the head statistician of Champion Data. We're collecting the stats from AFL matches and then analysing those and passing them the results onto the clubs and media. So my main role is to come up with new ways of analysing the game that haven't really been thought of before. A magnificent kick. The whole point of collecting statistics and analysing them is just to give clubs an advantage. If the club does come up with a new way of looking at the game, then that does give them a brief advantage until everyone else catches up. It's our job to service those advantages that the clubs are looking for. Now, Swans do have an extra number here. In They'll set up their game plans based on what they've seen about themselves in previous weeks and what they've seen about their upcoming opposition. This is the elite level of AFL, so these guys are the best there is. He needs to kick this. He does. At the end of a game, I get an email with an XML that contains everything that happened during the game, event by event, and my job is really to spice and dice that to tell us something that's meaningful. So an example of that is looking at centre square involvements, is knowing who the best possible combination of four players to have in the centre bounce is. But there really is a countless number of things that we can analyse during the game. But when Brisbane kick in, they go to the right a lot more than what they do to the left. So when they're getting the ball outside the defensive 50, it's going to be on the right-hand side as well. When I left high school, I did a Bachelor of Science and majored in statistics. And then during my honours year, I stumbled upon Swinburne's website. So I made the move from Queensland down to Victoria to study sports statistics as a PhD. And one of the projects was looking at player ratings in AFL. I've always been mathematically minded, so that was one thing that led me towards statistics, but the main thing was the flexibility. You can work in absolutely anything from finance to business and obviously sport. Last 12 minutes, the contested possession count is 15 to 5. And sports statistics is something that's growing very quickly. Maths teaches people how to solve problems, not really how to memorise formulas. Swans away! I've done a lot of tutoring in the business and psychology degrees, and even the degrees that have nothing to do with maths do need some level of statistical knowledge, so to hang in in high school and to have that extra knowledge behind you will definitely be useful. As a statistician, you can get into any field that you want. So wherever your passion leads you, whether it's in finance, business, medicine, sport, you really can do anything with the job. Working as a sports statistician is really is just a perfect fit for me. Growing up playing sport as a kid every weekend and being mathematically minded, it really is a perfect match. Fans love it.